This is a teenage girl. This is another one. In one of her natural surroundings, the home. Here's another playing sports. And another walking in high school. All of these individuals have a few things in common. A home, a family, security, and a bright future. But not all girls are so lucky. This is a teenage girl. This is another one in a place where she never should be. The streets. Here's another addicted to drugs and another selling her body in order to survive. All of these individuals have a few things in common. They have spent their life being unwanted, unneeded, and unheeded. And they have also been used, abused, and just thrown away like last Monday's garbage. Boys are no different. Here's one in school, and another on the streets. Here's one on the football team, and another in the gang. Now it's plain to see that the homeless kids have it worse off. They have seen and done things that you and I can't even imagine. And it all happens right under our noses. Pimps, gangs, perps, strugglers, they all hound on these poor individuals, these lost souls, and treats them as if they weren't even human beings, as if they weren't precious. But it's not hopeless. There is Covenant House. Covenant House is a non-profit organization that has worked tirelessly since the 90s to help our homeless children. They feed them, they shelter them, and they remind them that the world outside of the streets is good, that people do care, and that they're not alone. When a child walks into the building, they are given a good meal, a warm shower, and a soft bed, and they can stay as long as they like. Covenant House is run by the Sisters of Charity, nuns of the Catholic faith, as well as any volunteer who is ready to love, guide, and counsel the kids until they can get home. And if they can't get home, then they teach them long term until they have a job and are well down the right path. Covenant House is a light in the dark, a candle in the window, a constant reminder that help will come to those who need it, but they run entirely on donations and they will need a lot of them during this winter season, especially around Christmas time. I urge you to put one foot forward and donate to Covenant House. Even if you can't, there are so many other ways that you can help. If you're a parent, love and nurture your child. Don't give them a reason to run away from you. If you're a child and your parents are mistreating you or you feel like they are, talk with them. If you can't, if you just can't, then talk to a trusted adult and find the help you need. Or you can always call Covenant House's Nine Line. It's always there for you. This charity is so important to me. The stories that I've read about, the things I've seen them do, it's just phenomenal. The, the, the amount of love that just goes in to the work that they do is just awe-inspiring. And the kids that they help, these beautiful kids who are just in the wrong place, they, they need it. They need Covenant House. They need this to be in their lives. And it is our responsibility as, as human beings to make sure that these poor, poor people are, are made right. Children are beautiful people, as well as the future of us. So let's not forget about these important parts of our lives. Let's donate to Covenant House. My name is N4M4W45. Peace in Christ and imagine on. This is my hands great song It won't last for very long Just click a video Or maybe subscribe or comment below